So if I, if I stop mid-sentence and suddenly disappear, don't worry, it's nothing serious. It's just, just a bit of a dicky tummy today. Uh, somebody I had yesterday did not agree. There's a war going on down there. Right, we've got a bit of unfinished business to sort out in here. Um, haymaking kind of put this on the back burner, as did me feeling poorly and not wanting to get covered in grease. But um, I do kind of need to get this, this sorted. Um, so I've got the replacement link to go back in here. But unfortunately, on the links, they are, there's like rollers that go over the link. They didn't come with the replacement um, removable link. <coughs> and the only way I can get them, apparently, is going to be to take another one out, another link out. So this guy's going to have to come out and take the rollers out and take the roller over to the supplier so he can measure them and order them. So it's a really simple job to put it all back together. Literally, I've got the chain in situ. All I've got to do is pop the... Join the link in. Not sure if I'm going to get it in there because of that bar at the back. I might have to um, put the chain around another or join it on maybe that end and then put the last link in there. Maybe that that would be the way to do it. Um, so it's a reasonably simple repair once I've got the bits. But it is literally for the want of two little rollers to go on the drive chain. Um, it won't take long. It won't take long. So... But that's, that's a really dirty, messy, ugly job. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be traveling far from the farm today if, um, if my guts are going to misbehave. So those of you who don't know, I suffer from something called ulcerated colitis. And most of the time, not a problem. But just occasionally, I'll have a little flare up. And what to most of you will be a little bit of a tummy issue that might last. I don't know, 24 hours. Um, that can sometimes for me last a week. So I'm going to just err on the side of caution today. We're not combining today, that much I know. Uh, to get the parts for that, I have to drive to Yate. It's only eight miles away. But eight miles, when you only get a two minute warning, it's too far. I'm not going to go into great detail, I'm pretty sure most of you know exactly what I'm talking about, exactly where I'm coming from or going to. So I think most of today I'm going to be erring on the side of caution and try not to talk about it too much. I think I've already talked about it enough. But yeah, I, later on, maybe I can get that link out um, with gloves because that'll be another thing. If I'm covered in grease, and then suddenly I've got to go up to the little thunder box, um, I, I need to have clean hands fast. Yeah, you got the idea. I, I know you have. I know you have. And if you haven't, I'm not going to explain any more. So yeah, I've got a few other little jobs I can do at the farm. I would like to get in there and clean out. It's not actually too bad, but I want to do it because it's annoying me. I want to clean out sort of the passageway in here of the shed. Um, I want this shed clean enough that if I should need it for any other purpose in the next couple of weeks quickly, it will take very little time for me to clean it out for anything else I might want to do in here. Uh, those guys can go next door if they have to. Uh, the other thing I want to do is this kind of corner, I could make better use of it, really. Um, I'm going to have to find another home for those bags. I think they're going to have to go in the big barn. We need to have a bit of a sort out in here. The dumpers outside, I need to get that in. Uh, I've also got a seat to put on that sometimes. So may maybe, I don't think I'm going to get to that today, but maybe we'll put the seat on the dumper. See how I feel. I, I might not want to be 
um, getting into contortionist acts and stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe we can sort of have a bit of a tidy up in here. Uh, wait for the phone to ring. I'm expecting a call from Chandler's, Massey Ferguson, this week. Um, hopefully we're having a tractor on demo from them. Um, I know um, Rich Corlock's having a tractor as well. They've been chasing him for over a year to have a tractor on demo. So for the few of you that said, oh, Rich Cornock is copying what I'm doing with trailer tractors, that's not, that's not the case at all. Um, Rich doesn't have the freedom on his farm to do everything he wants when he wants that I do here, because I only have to answer to me. Nobody else is involved. Rich doesn't have that, um, doesn't have that option. Let's put it that way. So, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's not copying me at all. This is something that he's been on about doing for ages and ages, well before I even considered having tractors on trial. He started it before I did. So anybody who thought otherwise, you can just stop it, okay? Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna see if the digger would start. Why am I walking that way? Stupid boy. Yep, in there. I know, I already know the battery's flat. So I already know I'm gonna have to put the jump leads on here. This is one of those things where I should really and truly put a new battery in here because the battery is pretty much kaput. But I don't use a digger very often. And for the little bit of hassle it is <coughs> to actually um, put the jump leads on and start it, it's not that much hassle. Um, it's also a pretty good security thing because it also means it's really difficult to steal. Oh, drop me nut. Where did he go? Oh, he's down there. Right, it's under there. So when I open this, I should be able to catch hold of it, he says. Famous last words. Oh, yeah. There he is. Right. That's them tucked in there safe and sound. I know where they are. I just need to put some leads from that, which has a really good battery, onto that, which has a uh, not such a good battery. So <laughs> we replaced the battery on the skid steer a couple of years ago, and I actually put um, a marine battery on here. So this fella here, is not your bog standard car, truck, industrial battery. It's a marine one. Um, the way I looked at it, it was probably 80, 100 pound more than a bog standard battery. But the thing is with a marine battery is they have to work. If you turn your boat off in the middle of the sea, it has to start. So um, yeah, I was offered that. Um, I thought it was reasonable for what it was. I rely so heavily on the Mustang that, um, especially in the winter months when I'm feeding cattle, it has to start. So this fella here is just up three or four notches on the quality of um, your normal bog standard lorry or tractor battery, if you know what I mean. Oh, you are, is you, is it? What have you got in there? Have you got something in there? Is there? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? What's it? Was it a mousey? Where's he gone? He's not there. Where's the mousey? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where did he go? Where's that mousey? Hey? <laughs> Where's the mousey? You he's gone! You didn't even see it! Get up, blimey. All right, one set of jump leads. I'm kind of open. I'm not going to have to move the skid, sir, that it is already close enough. I think it is. So we'll put you on first. That's not very clean in there, is it? It's covered in dust. Right, 
that's the negative. So you go on there. Make sure that's insulated. Uh, I think last time I put you on there, didn't I? Because I had a better earth off of you. Battery is really difficult to get onto the earth terminal on there because this hydraulic pipe's in the way. So I have actually found that's better. Right on, I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of little tiny sparks. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, what do you reckon? It's got two chances. Where's that mousy? Where's that mousy? Hey. <laughs> well, just keep her entertained, I suppose, isn't it? What do you reckon? No. No. I think what we'll do, just to boost us a little bit, we'll fire the Mustang up and just pump a few more amps in there. Nearly. All right, I think I'll just give the battery five minutes to get a bit of juice on it, because if I go drawing all those amps through there to start this, I'm just going to buckle plates. Patrick's looking a bit wistful. Any anyway, mate. So it might be the bale that the cows have got that he's wistfully thinking about, but I think it's more likely. Um, the young heifers that are out out there I mean they'd be equivalent of something like a, I don't know 10 12 year old girl and that's why I don't want him he wouldn't care he would not care if she smelt right he wouldn't care he'd be yeah he would which is why I won't let him. Dirty old man. Yeah, it don't, it don't feel too bad like that, but we've had half an inch of rain in the last 24 hours. The second I sit on there, I'm getting a wet arse. So, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. That was dry two days ago. So that's actually the object of this exercise. I want to get Donald back under cover. I just need to make better use of that corner. That's all it is. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello. So I've had a few people asking me if they can buy some of my in-calf heifers. And I might let a couple go, but not number 60. She's staying. You don't need to see that bit. Fingers crossed. Success.
You want to see the dog? in there for you um, push that up a bit Them for a long amount of timber we got here. me. I want to know where you are. Come on. I'd forgotten there was a bit of straw in there, so it's got wet, can't keep it. They obviously want it, so I'll give it them. Right over the back. 
You can have that for a couple of days. If I muck out the front, at least I won't be chucking it straight back out again. It, it may not look a lot tidier, but at least I got the dumper as well. And it is tidier, so. Okay, a cup of coffee time, I think, so. And uh, a visit to the little room. Uh, just had uh, Mr. Isaacs from Lister Water on the phone to me, talking about Kubota tractors. So there is a bit of news on that. Not brilliant news, because he can't get to me what he wants, but he can get to me maybe the next size up just to have a play with. And yeah, watch this space. <laughs>